Hey folks, Lee at Real Rollers, and I'm here in front of the Revolution, and I just want to give you guys, based off of questions um, that people have had, just an overview of kind of how the mower mechanisms work. Maybe give you a clearer idea of how everything goes together. So, I've taken the, the drive shaft cover off, as well as a side cover. If you're not sure how to do that, we have a video showing how that is removed. Um, first thing I'm going to show you guys is kind of how the sprockets and the controls up here interact with each other. So let's start with one. Let's start with the ground engagement. So the way the ground engagement works is we have a couple of things here. One, we have a minor adjustment here underneath the handlebars. You can see it's a little turn bell that you can turn. What this controls is how soon this bale and how fast this bale engages your ground control. And I say that because this just controls how quickly it compresses everything's spring loaded and if it wasn't spring loaded it would grab right away and you would pop a wheelie so this right here will adjust how and does minor adjustments on how the ground engagement uh, how quickly it's going to grab now if you need it to grab a lot higher we'll talk about that adjustment and what i mean by that is if you have a steep hill and it's not climbing it at all that's going to be what we call quote unquote a major adjustment down here it's not major in complication it's just the way we frame it this one we frame as a minor adjustment. It means you don't have to take any covers off, just a quick turn of the dial and you're good to go. So the goal of the mower is to have the bale for the ground control. When it gets halfway depressed, you start to feel the ground engagement go so that when you're fully depressed, you're fully engaged with the drum. All right, so let's walk through this. This, when not depressed, the ground engagement should have slack. Same thing with the real clutch, which is over here and we'll talk about it too. When they're not engaged, it's completely normal to have plenty of play in these. It's once they're engaged that it should be taunt. Same with the reel. Once it's engaged, it's taunt. But it should not be taunt when it's not engaged, so they release. So let's travel down the ground control cable. And as you'll see, the ground control comes in right here on this bale. If you can see it in the camera. So that when I engage the ground control, it pulls this clip in in retrospect, it then takes this bolt and pulls it in with this sprocket. And what that engages is this right here. So right here is our ground engagement clutch pad. So when I depress it, this comes in tight and it engages the ground control. In the event that you're not getting enough, let's call it climb, enough pull out of the mower, it's a super simple fix. Let me grab a few, one other tool real quick behind you. There we go. I've got my reel, the bed knife. This tool is just used for anything you can dream of. And then I got an open-ended 13 inch or 13 millimeter box wrench. Again, a half inch will work fine. So I'm gonna get on the other side of you guys so you can get behind the mower and see. This particular bolt, which engages your ground control and it slides these pads into one another, runs all the way through the mower. And it's actually at the very bottom, if you look down here, it's at the very bottom of this lever. So if I need to loosen or tighten it, I take my box wrench and I put it right there on the nut. And then I take my reel to bed knife tool and put it onto this nut. And if I need to loosen it, I turn it left. And this will create more space between this clutch pad and the rear. So when I pull it out and engage it, see you can freewheel right now, so I roll the mower. Once I engage it, it locks it in. Although you're not seeing a physical gap, you can see that as soon as there's any kind of tension on it, it's freed up. In the event I need to tighten this, righty tighty. In the event I need to tighten this, simply put my box wrench onto the mower and I turn this to the right usually a half turn at a time. And what I want to do is test it and make sure that when I'm moving the mower, that it's not rolling under its own power. So if I tighten this bolt too much and turn the mower on, the mower will start to go forward without being engaged. I want this to be close and tightened up, but not so tight that the mower rolls on its own. So what I like to do is start the mower, see if I, uh, I throttle up, if the mower stays in place. If the mower stays in place, I can tighten this up a little bit more as tight as I want until the mower starts to roll under, I guess you could say its own power without me wanting it to do so. If it does that, I simply loosen this up just a half a turn at a time and that'll give me the necessary gap 
so that I can fire the mower up. All of this can be spinning, but the mower is not moving forward. So that's how the ground engagement plates work. If you have a little bit of wobble here or a chain jumps, highly recommend tightening this bolt up just to make sure that this runs true and just don't over tighten it where the mower is starting to roll on its own. Okay, so let's step back over here and take a look at what we call the drive chain. And that's actually coming down and it's going to engage the real clutch. This drive chain is always spinning. Once it's engaged through the lever, I'm gonna slide behind you. Once it's engaged, you're gonna see these silver plates rotate. And when they rotate, what they're doing is they're pushing this clutch pad into the clutch housing. And as soon as that clutch pad is pushed into the clutch housing, that locks everything up, including the reel, so that it spins under this continuously spinning clutch pad. So when I engage it, watch the silver plates down there rotate, and it's just ever so minor. We're engaged. So now you can see this gap that was made, and it's pushed the clutch in to the housing. Now everything is connected. I can't free spin the reel. When I disengage it, you'll see these plates rotate back to flush. That's how the reel engagement works. Now in the event you go to disengage your reel for some reason up there at the top and the reel does not disengage, there's only three things you can do. One, whenever you engage the reel, make sure you throttle down. You don't want to do it at full throttle because that'll slow everything down for the mower, which is great. Then you hit your disengagement lever and the clutch should disengage. If for some reason it doesn't, first thing you want to check is just make sure there's not a bunch of gunk and grime in between these plates where I'm running the screwdriver. You just want to make sure that when it was engaged, a bunch of grass, grease, and a bunch of debris didn't get stuck in these cracks, not allowing it to disengage again. If you've confirmed that that's not the problem, you rotate it back and you're not seeing this close back up and the reel staying engaged, probably means the clutch pad has gotten pushed in there at the wrong direction. That's an easy fix and you can go ahead and reach out to us and we can help you guys understand how to take that, uh, how to uh, make this disengage by just shooting us an email at sales at realrollers.com. But that's essentially how this whole underground world works. It is the drive chain, which is continuously spinning, will continuously spin this external cavity with both these brackets, and these are always spinning when you have the mower on. When you wanna move forward, you hit your red bale, and this continuously spinning sprocket engages the clutch, and then it drives the rear drum through this bottom chain. Reel, the same thing. These chains are all continuously spinning up front. When I engage the reel, this continuously spinning reel, the clutch will engage, locking the reel in with this clutch's rotation, just like so. And now this continuously spinning chain, the drive chain, has now engaged the reel for this clutch, and now everything's spinning. That's essentially how the revolution works under the cover as far as ground control and reel control. If you guys have any other questions or want any more information, details about how the mower works, feel free to shoot us an email at sales at realrollers.com. Thank you guys and have a great day.